Hello students, welcome to Bridge Academy for Grade 10 Biology Tutorials, Unit 1, Lesson 5, Ethiopian Biologists and Their Contributions. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to appreciate major discoveries contributed by Ethiopian scientists. Discuss the importance of discoveries contributed by Ethiopian scientists to human beings. Introduction Ethiopian scientists have made significant contributions to global science. This lesson focuses on three notable figures, Professor Yalemsa Heimekanen, Dr. Aklalu Lemma, and Professor Gebisa Ijeta. Their discoveries in biomedical science, pathobiology, and plant genetics have impacted health, agriculture, and sustainability worldwide. Each scientist's work reflects Ethiopia's growing influence in scientific innovation. 1. Professor Yalemsa Heimekanen, Biomedical Research and Medicinal Plants Professor Yalemsa Heimekanen is a leading biomedical scientist specializing in human physiology and endocrinology. She earned her PhD from the University of Heidelberg in Germany, focusing on hormone biology. Returning to Ethiopia in 1992, she joined Addis Ababa University as an assistant professor. She later became a full professor in 2009. Yalemtsa Heimekanen served as head of the Department of Biology and director of the Aklulu Lemma Institute of Pathobiology. Her research explores medicinal and nutritional plants. She has published over 100 scientific papers. These papers cover in vivo and in vitro tests of plant extracts. Her work assesses health hazards to humans, animals, and the environment. Yalemsa Hay advocates for sustainable use of natural resources. Her studies have advanced Ethiopia's understanding of safe plant-based treatments. She also mentors students, promoting scientific curiosity. Her contributions earned her recognition, including a bank branch named in her honor by Inat Bank. Yalemsa Hay's work bridges traditional knowledge and modern science, improving healthcare and environment. 2. Dr. Aklalu Lemma, Combating Schistosomias with Endod Dr. Aklalu Lemma was a distinguished Ethiopian pathologist. Born in 1935, he studied at Addis Ababa University and earned Doctor of Science. From Johns Hopkins University in 1964, his most significant discovery came in 1964 while observing women washing clothes in Adwa, Ethiopia. He noticed dead snails downstream where women used Endod soapberry for laundry. Snails carry schistosomias, a parasitic disease affecting 200 to 300 million people in Africa, including Ethiopia. It transmitted through contact with contaminated fresh water. Larvae penetrate the skin, maturing into worms that reside in blood vessels. They lay eggs, causing inflammation, organ damage, and symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, and blood in urine or stool. Chronic infections may lead to liver fibrosis, kidney damage, or bladder cancer. Diagnosis involves detecting eggs in stool or urine. After he noticed dead snails downstream where women used Endod soapberry for laundry, Aklalu tested Endod suds on snails in a lab. The snails died quickly, revealing Endod's molecycidal properties. He isolated the active chemical named lemotoxin, which controls snails, mosquitoes, and other disease vectors. This discovery offered a low-cost, biodegradable solution to schistosomias. Aklalu's work highly reduced infection rates among children. He co-founded the Institute of Pathobiology and served as its first Ethiopian dean. In 1989, Dr. Aklalu received the Right Livelihood Award for this breakthrough. Lemma's discovery made Endot a global research focus, showcasing Ethiopia's scientific potential. 3. Professor Gebisa Ejeta, Revolutionizing Sorghum Agriculture Gebisa Ejeta is an Ethiopian plant geneticist born in 1950. He studied at Alamaya College in Ethiopia and earned a Ph.D. from Purdue University in USA. Gebisa's research focuses on sorghum, a vital crop in Africa. 
In the 1980s, he developed Hagin Dura 1, the first drought-tolerant, high-yield sorghum hybrid. This hybrid increased yields by 50 to 100 percent in Sudan. In the 1990s, Gebisa created sorghum varieties resistant to Striga, a parasitic weed devastating African farms. These varieties improved food security for millions. His innovations supported farmer education and seed production systems. In 2009, Professor Gebisa won the World Food Prize for his contributions to agriculture. In 2023, he received the U.S. National Medal of Science. Gebisa's research has transformed dryland agriculture, ensuring food stability in sub-Saharan Africa. Summary These scientists demonstrate Ethiopia's scientific excellence. Yelemtsehe's plant research enhances healthcare. Aklilu's and Dodd discovery fights parasitic diseases. Gebisa's sorghum hybrids ensure food security. Their work addresses global challenges like health, poverty, and hunger. They also inspire future generations of Ethiopian scientists. Their discoveries combine local knowledge with cutting-edge science, proving the value of diverse perspectives in research, review questions and answers. 1. What is Professor Yelensa Heimekanen's main research focus? Answer. Her research focuses on medicinal and nutritional plants, including in vivo and in vitro tests, and assessing health hazards to humans, animals, and the environment. 2. How doctor did Aklalu Lemma discover the molecycidal properties of Endod? Answer. He observed dead snails downstream where women used Endod for washing clothes in Adwa, Ethiopia, and confirmed its effects in lab tests. 3. What is the significance of Gebisa Egida's Hagin Dura 1 sorghum hybrid? Answer. It is a drought tolerant, high yield sorghum hybrid that increased crop productivity by 50 to 100 percent in Sudan, enhancing food security. 4. What awards did Aklalu Lemma receive for his Endod discovery? Answer. He received the Right Livelihood Award in May 1989. How has Gebisa Ejida's work impacted African agriculture? Answer: His drought-tolerant and striga-resistant sorghum hybrids improved yields and food security, supporting millions of farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos.